So as the pastor of Center of Hope, I'm super blessed because um, I get to sit in all these meetings around the city. And when it comes to, you know, social engagement overall, but particularly child welfare, um, our church has just really grown to have a great name. And uh, when I talk to people, they're always raving about what Center of Hope is doing and how the people at Center of Hope are stepping up and really um, being, you know, Jesus incarnate in the earth. And, I, you know, and I'm always, you know, a little thrilled. I am a little proud, maybe a little bit of ego in there because I'm proud of my people and my family of faith for how, you know, as we make the call and as we see the issues, we just kind of step in. Um, and we were really thinking about how could we continue to expand opportunities for us to be the blessing that we've been for so many years. Um, and we came across this program with the Department of Children and Family Services called Cultural Brokers. And it's a program that allows for individuals who really have a heart for people to kind of come alongside. You know, there's, there's a, you know, we look at scripture and we, we think about the Holy Spirit. They, we, we call him the paraclete. And it's this idea of the one who comes alongside to, to support, to advise, to lead, to guide. And I feel like cultural brokers are kind of like human paracletes, you know, not parakeets, you know, not birds, but paracletes that come alongside families, come alongside children to help be a source and a resource of, of calm, um, of information, to help them navigate space. And, and I said, this is really good. Let me tell you why, two reasons. One, it's really good because everyone can't be a foster parent. Everyone can't adopt a child, but everyone can do something. And Cultural Brokers is the kind of the, the, the reservoir of a place to do the something. But number two, for those who are contemplating um, becoming a foster parent, it's a great way to onboard kind of with ease, to, to get used to the environment, to, to see it from a different vantage point, to really be informed about the decision to become a foster parent. And so, so conceptually, I'm just super excited about what it is that uh, we're embarking on as a church to partner with the cultural broker program with the Department of Children and Family Service. I mean, you have some experience or some thoughts or just the, the personal element of that also, right? Yeah, for sure, definitely. Um, you know, we've had three children placed in our home um, since 2016. And as we have met their families, met their parents, walked with them through their case plan, we've seen the need um, for just that additional support, those wraparound services. And a lot of times it's beyond what the capacity of the department can actually do. Um, the social workers already have such a large caseload and so to have people that are just in their corner helping them to navigate questions, helping them to know which questions to ask, getting advice on meal planning or how to care for their kids once they get returned back to them. There are so many issues that oftentimes the families find themselves navigating that they just need a little extra support and so it has become so apparent to us how very powerful this program can really be. It's, it's thinking of it like Big Mama or thinking of it like that godmother or that aunt or that uncle that you had growing up that was just there to help out whenever there was need. So um, I thought it was a great opportunity for Center of Hope to be able to continue to get involved and to be leaders in particularly in the Inglewood area. Um, and so when, when I heard about it, I just felt like it, it could be such a great opportunity for us to continue to show the love of God to those that are right here in our environment. So, I mean, as we're talking about this, I know our people are probably going to be wondering and, and trying to figure out exactly what all this means. And so luckily, you know, we have a great relationship with DCFS. And so they'll be with us in service a few times and have some tables outside and, and also we'll have information to, to forward. Um, but I just want to encourage people, you know, as I've thought about this, you know, I'd say this is my life song, you know, um, I remember saying in a volunteer meeting, probably year one or year two of me being at the Center of Hope, that we were going to pay significant attention uh, to the health and well-being of children. Um, that, that kids are often the most vulnerable parts of our society and often without a voice. And the church, you know, as scripture is replete with this idea, has to be the group of individuals that looks after the least of these that seeks to serve the disenfranchised, that looks for people in the margins and tries to offer whatever agency we possess um, to be a blessing to them. And so 
Um, I know it can be scary. It's scary for us, you know, as we raise, you know, a few foster kids and um, there's so much that's to it. But we, we often, Adrian and I will often, we talk to couples, we'll always say when they're, when they're battling with this concept, whether it's cultural brokers or being a foster parent, we'll say yes. It is difficult and there are times when it is painful, but what's the alternative? Right. So so I could say because of whatever inconvenience I may experience uh, that I don't want to offer myself. Uh, but then what I'm also saying by default is that whatever may come that child's way is their problem. And I'm not sure. Here's what I know. I, I, I can't live with that. And I know that people that I serve at our church, the, the community of faith there, they are so passionate about about people that they probably can't live with that either. And so as we as we charge ahead, we want to encourage, you know, you know in all of our settings, we're going to be encouraging our, our folk to really step up and at least hear more about it and see if God is calling them to, to step into the fray and be the best version of the church uh, for people who are who are far from God and who are near and who are in our communities.